My name is Tara Sabarwal and I'm a painter. Uh, I've been painting for a long time, since I was 13. Um, I uh, finished uh, college in India, I went to Baroda Art College and then after that got a scholarship to go to London to the Royal College to study painting. After which I went back to India and did some shows, was there for three years. Uh, and came to New York in 1990 um, after another stint in London and in the northeast of England. I came to New York just to visit some friends and uh, uh, I met people and uh, I, you know, things worked out so I stayed here. I uh, met Robert Blackburn of the printmaking workshop and I started working there. I met Chester Hurwitz who um, bought some work and I met uh, Robert Lee um, at, at the printmaking workshop all within the first few weeks of being here and uh, I started working with Robert Lee uh, um, at the art center for a while and uh, I've been in America since I've been painting. Through painting I try to access sort of unconscious places in myself and through painting I access thinking really, a kind of thinking that uh, that directs me. Uh, I would say my work is on one level personal because it's my own struggle but through that I go, I go to a place which is everybody's everybody's journey, everybody's feeling, so through the personal to access a much, much larger, uh, larger thing. I came to New York um, um, and at first I was continuing to do what I was doing and then the architecture of the city started you know, kind of impacting in my work. After the architecture phase there was uh, a phase in which I was, uh, uh, I think I also uh, I was living in the East Village at one time, feeling very lonely and feeling very like I don't know where, why I'm here, you know, and that was a phase. And uh, then uh, there was a phase of uh, of uh, when I was with my husband, got married, had a child. There was a whole period of work of, as a young mother. That was a big thing. And then eventually, um, you know, living in New York, reality of doing a job and not having time raising a child, that impacted the practice. And my husband actually got very sick and uh, for many years. And I think following his, 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 you know, the sonograms that you take of the body, that became like an influence because a lot of my body period work is of, of landscapes inside with the blood vessels, you know, of the order in, inside, you know. Like you said, reality, right? Yeah. What is the contemporary reality? Your work has um, a, pers a, a response to that question that huh. many, you don't find in many, many works. And so it can help people to, to see it in, you know, in this, uh, what well, a lot of the writings that mm -hmm. have that you selected, right? That I, we have it mm -hmm. in your file. Is that um, this inner world, this total inner right, world? Right. Yeah. And to to look out at New York and and see this inner world. Right. Which is what you do, and you right. do that very, very consistently. See, that is exactly you put your finger on it because it's that in a world uh, thing that some people can tune into and they get it. Everybody doesn't right. want to even go there right. or it opens something a little vulnerable or it's not, yeah. you know. Yes. But if, if you're looking for, if you're aware of that or you're open to that door, yes. then it's, it's, it's a very intense connection. Yes. And I always have this. Well, you know, I think in this case you have these animals that come up. But in this painting or this painting, you just have like uh, foliage yeah. or in this right. case, just sort of uh, 
abstract uh, circles or, or mm -hmm. oval shapes. Mm -hmm. How so? In that case, can you yeah. tell us about how that comes about? Sure. So in a lot of work, it's it's you know sometimes I mean I move very freely between uh, using figuration and non-figuration, mm -hmm. and I think there really isn't that much to it really. Mm -hmm. And in the non-representational work, uh, it's it is the dynamics between the two figures, which are uh, abstract shapes, mm -hmm. that does the tension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in this one, actually, this is a part of a picture which is continuing of lots of interweaving loops. Mm -hmm. You know, like they are like beads that come together and come keep going on. So in my next show, I'm doing one room which is going to be all dots and loops. And I'll show you, I have some more of these. Mm -hmm. And they are, and it's about, this is a, something about, you know, life and connections that you, they make. Sometimes they intervene, sometimes they don't, and sometimes they float. But things, when, you know, when you are at a moment, you see that and you feel that it's the present moment now is... It's gone. It's gone. It's it's such a far fle fleeting moment. But it's part of another chain, right? Mm -hmm. um, like that makes a chain with something else, but you don't see it in this picture. Right. You know what yes. I mean? So when we we are at a moment in, in our lives, we see this much of the picture. But this has a chain here, which is part of a larger design, right? Uh -huh. I see that. Right. In fact, our whole life is this. You know? Miracles happen to you, yeah, right. because you're receptive to them. You're open to them, and you and at a certain time in my life, there were certain miracles that happened to me, yeah. and I just would wonder, well, how come? You know, what's yeah. going on? But I was, I had, there was something that changed it for me. I felt different, and then I began to realize that I used to, uh, to me that I, I picked down the word karma. That's my karma. Well, I'm I'm open to that, yeah. and so then the coincidences become yeah they yeah, come yeah. they come you and you're you're ready to receive them. If yeah. you weren't ready to receive them, it wouldn't happen. Yeah, but you're ready to receive them. Painting is a way for me to access places that I can't access otherwise, and to think that I can't think. It's the thoughts that I don't even know are in me, but they come through it. Mm -hmm. Like to do, to do that to your child, you can't even hold the child and really do that. But you can do that in the painting and go to that place. Mm 